Chrysanthemum morphilum agroplants.org, also known as a floris dicey or hardy garden mum. So this hibiscus, uh, it's perennial evergreen or this is, depending where you grow it. Uh, it's a tract pollinator, it's a great cut flower and can grow in variety of climate, temperate, mediterranean or subtropical. Possible also to grow it as a houseplant, uh, but it needs to be in cool, cool weather. So if you would like to grow it, there is a link below, link in the right top side, and this is a, to perch it. And if you perch it, it's donation for this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like, uh, push the like button if you like this video. But this is, you need to see more. And now we will explain a little bit character and how to grow it. So hardiness zone will be from five to 10. Uh, I know that mostly they say until nine, I live in 10B and it's grow and it's beautiful, uh, so why not? Uh, the leaves are uh, linear, uh, shaped, uh, can be deeply lobed. The flower color can be in variety of color. This is a white, but you have uh, yellow, purple, green, red, orange, pink, or more than one color. Uh, it can be in disc patterns. Uh, it means that the inner part can be uh, yellow and the outer uh, can be white or different uh, kind in the base of the in the base of the petal it can be a darker color in the top of the petal will be lighter so this is what you can find and you should try to find it uh, in order to grow it it's better to grow it in a light soil and uh, in cool weather you can start to grow it by uh, buying seeds cutting or just to buy a plant uh, be aware that it's invasive so it's not really hard to grow it if it's invasive uh, planting season so usually from five to nine uh, hardiness zone will be from the spring to the summer planting season uh, autumn it will be in a hardiness zone of 10b so it's been 10a it's uh, on the verge you can probably from the spring to the autumn you, you should check it major pests are uh, the aphids uh, possible a little bit uh, spider mites but uh, as what as I saw especially if you grow it as a houseplant that a lot of people grow it here as a houseplant that the aphids are really cru crucial especially in the uh, full shade uh, pruning it's if it's infected or something just cut it and let it regrow the height of the plant will be from 20 to 80 centimeter depends the cultivar and uh, the conditions that you give it it means 8 to 32 inches in the right condition will be a fast growing plant that require a very amount of water. It uh, will grow the best in full sun to half shade, uh, but it's possible, uh, not recommendable, but possible to grow it in full shade with light, with a lot of light, but it's possible to grow it. Uh, blooming season will be uh, from hardiness zone of 5 to uh, 10A, uh, spring to summer, and in hotter climate, uh, 10B will be from the autumn to the spring uh, late autumn winter and spring the main things of this plant that it's uh, very beautiful and it's like to grow a bouquet so if you choose to grow it as a house plant or even outside outdoor uh, you can use it as a cut flower and this is what beautiful and it's attract pollinators except this it's not hard so much to grow it uh, the major problem is that it might be hard if it's got attack and uh, it's die super super easily it's super fast so this is a little bit annoying but it's not hard and it's super beautiful so why not to grow it that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos sub list subscribe and of course purchase a plant and this is donation for our channel i hope you enjoy and come visit us again